our first show here with Mumford and Sons, we were actually flying back from Europe that day. We were so wiped out, but I think um, being in such a special spot and to be able to stand out on that stage and look out and, and know who it all played there, if it wasn't for the fact that we were playing such a special place, I feel like our exhaustion would have really gotten to us. We almost recorded our last record, Sorry Zone, and we almost recorded it here. And uh, It seems like a really inspiring, good place for songwriters to be feeding off each other. And so because a lot of our friends are here and so many good venues, and there's so many things that kind of come together perfectly for us to, to have like a really strong base here in Nashville. The Ryman does a really, is, is a really great place to, to explore the entire dynamic spectrum of a band. It's not about dancing in the back or hanging by the bar. I mean, it's really truly about the music in a way that other venues don't af afford. And so uh, I, I feel like because of that, it allows us to explore different parts of our catalog that we wouldn't normally f feel like would be very effective. Whereas here, I feel like we could we could bring it down or we could bring it up and it'll all be kind of I feel like a, an audience will go to those places with us. Anyone that's starting a band, th I feel like you create markers for yourself as to how to gauge where you're at and, and the things that you want to achieve. And I feel like not only is playing at the Ryman one of those, but I feel like it's one of the most romantic and exciting ones of those. It's not only uh, indicative of a dream coming true, but it is an exact dream coming true. <laughs>